Today, I'm gonna show you how to build a Lego tightrope walker. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Here you might remember, if you follow my channel, a couple of my recent builds that I made for the Rogue Olympics, a content in which I have to build uh, builds with 101 or less parts. Week one prompt was above the clouds, for which I built the Wing Mario, uh, that of course you can find on the channel, as well as my a sort of VR uh, big character with the logos over here, for example, YouTube, Facebook, and so on, which was uh, for the prompt, the internet. The new prompt for week three is risk. So I'm gonna use this character, which is based on the um, uh, ice skating champion from a recent CMF, for which I already built an habitat on my channel before, but we are gonna build a little scene over here on a 8 by 16 base. Uh, so when I thought about risk, I thought, okay, let's try to build something, uh, some character in a funny scene walking on a tightrope in between two cliffs. Uh, at the bottom, we are gonna build a little bit of water. You can see already here I build up most of it. And you can see I wanted to have a wavy effect. This is very easy to achieve, of course. When uh, placing the tiles, you just need to put them in a way uh, that you press down only on one side. So one side is fully connected, uh, one side is a little bit up. So now you can create some uh, wavy effect and then you can see how much you wanna press them down or not. Uh, one coil fish over there just to give a little bit of color and this you will see later why we're using that. Uh, now let's carry on building. Let's start from this side where we wanna build one side of the two cliffs. So over here we're gonna start putting some slopes uh, bigger and small ones and at the back side I'm gonna add a few uh, big uh, bricks 2 by 4 on which we're gonna use some bigger parts and uh, these are very useful for this competition because I need to keep the piece count at 101 or less anyway this time again I eat exactly 101 uh, so over here now we can finish it up with a little bit of uh, slopes to make this surface a little bit smoother so this will keep everything together and i think also there at the bottom we can add one of these geode piece to give a little bit of decoration now we have our uh, tight rope a short one so this we is where we connect one side of it okay now over on this side again i'm gonna create a small decoration here at the back and then here we're gonna build up the cliff uh, for the cliff, I'm gonna use this sort of rock uh, pieces that are very interesting with very nice texture. In the center, I'm gonna connect with these uh, modified bricks that have studs on four sides, so on top, on the two sides at the front. Connect one here and connect one upside down on the top. So this is how more or less the cliff is gonna look. I think is quite interesting, uh, but we can add, I think, a little bit more details. So again, we are going to use one more of these at the bottom and then some of these corner uh, slopes uh, to finish it up a little bit. We don't need to do the back side because in the picture it's not going to be seen, but like this it feels a little bit more rounded. Same things I'm going to do on the top, but this time I'm going to use it sideways so that on top I can create the tip at the base of this cliff. This is going to connect to the jumper that allow me also to give a little bit of a slight angle and now that this is connected we can put the other tight uh, the other side of the rope connecting over here and now we can push this down a little bit okay then of course we can twist this a little bit to make it a little bit shorter or a little bit longer at the knees uh, now what are we going to do with this character so as i say this is from the the body of the ice skater and he's going to be the the acrobat the stuntman that is walking on the tight rope and I'm gonna use a similar technique to what I use for my uh, Hercules, which he was flexing his muscle with a big uh, barbell. So here I create an even bigger barbell with two big red weights on the side, okay? And this is gonna be him walking on this rope with this big transparent bar and the bracket I connect there at the bottom. And this is gonna be more or less like this. We can push it down a little bit so that is in touch with the rope, but actually his position, his weight is all held by the transparent 
uh, part. Let's try to find the right spot. Okay, more or less something like this. I think we need to twist the rope slightly. There we go. Okay, as you can see, he has a very scary face and there are two reasons for that. One reason is that here at the bottom, uh, this water is going to be filled with sharks. So that's why uh, this risky scene is getting uh, always more dangerous. So here we are uh, tight roping between two cliffs on top of a sea full of shark. This is actually the one part of a big Lego shark that is gonna be connected, actually not really connected, it's just there with a bit of pressure uh, on that tile over there upside down. So over there we have the shark and we are gonna add actually uh, just one of these because if you look this from the front perspective you can see a gap in the mouth which doesn't look good. So this are we are gonna just put it more or less behind there to fill that gap. Let me see if I put it properly so that we make sure that uh, no light can be seen behind the shark if we look from a lower perspective. Uh, one other thing that we're gonna need to add over here is some more shark fins. So here I'm using these corner tiles that we can place randomly. Uh, these are not gonna be connected, are just gonna be sitting on, the, on their sides. And this is gonna be looking like this sea is infested by many uh, big and small sharks. Now, to add a little bit of color, I'm gonna add one seagull over here on the top, since we have an empty stud, so he's watching the exhibition, as well as a little frog on the other corner, uh, and because of the position, it's actually looking like if the frog is looking up at this. But now, as you can see, he has a very scary face, so why is that? He's doing his job, he's doing his exhibition, walking on the tightrope. So what is making him scared? That actually the danger was not the shark, but it was from this little blue board that decided to go and sit on the barbell. So here I put a red pin inside that rounded brick. He decided to sit there and this, of course, will make the stuntman lose his balance. So, of course, here we are presenting a very uh, scary scene, but uh, with a little bit of humor, uh, which I think is always nice to do with Lego. So I hope, guys, you uh, enjoy this build. I will build a few more of these builds with 101 parts uh, on my channel. Uh, let me know what you think about this. And if you like it, please consider to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe because it will really help the algorithm. It will really help my channel as we are getting closer to the 1000 subs. If you like this kind of scale on a 8x16 base, I recommend you to check out my playlist of mobs, minifigure on parades. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.